Hello, my name is Clay. I'm the owner of Clay Slay's Beauty. In today's video, I'll be showing you all how I create my glam mask from start to finish. So without doing too much talking, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. So sit back and relax and let's start. All right, so this is the machine that I'm using. This is the Brother Lock 103 4D. This is a serger. It's not a regular sewing machine. I wanted to use a regular one at first, but I had left my sewing machine in Cleveland, so I had to purchase a brand new one, and there weren't many left due to the fact that everyone was making masks, and you know, it was just hard to find. Like, there's no sewing machines in stores, so I ended up purchasing this, and I'm glad I did because I always wanted a serger because it gives your clothes like a more professional finish like clothes, you know or like anything just gives it like you know that store-bought look so I'm glad I got this definitely a great investment so let me go ahead and tell you guys all that I'll be using so this is my fabric now I already have my fabric cut out I did I cut out everything in advance so that way it's more easier for me so before you even go into you know your fabric and you know selecting your fabric and I am using 100% cotton so before you get into that, you have to have a pattern, all right? Let me go ahead and set up my camera. So all right, so first thing you wanna do is go ahead and select the fabric. Now this is a fabric that I chose. All right, this fabric, I'm actually showing you guys how I make the mask Quarantine Bay. It's a very pretty mask. I love it, it's for the extra girls out there. So we're gonna be making Quarantine Bay, okay? So look how pretty this is. Get your fabric and get you a pattern. Now you can find patterns online for free. They're everywhere, so find you a pattern that you like. I found one that I like, and what I did was I traced my pattern out on a thicker cardboard type paper and traced it out that way, because I know I'll be you know, repeatedly using it and I didn't you know, want to use a piece of paper. I wanted something more sturdy, so I just got me my, um, I, okay, so, this is the, I have two different sizes, the women's and the kids mask. So this is the, the pattern for the kids mask. Now this is the um, pattern for the main fabric, the outside, and this is for the lining of the inside. So what I do is I just take my fabric, lay it out, double it up, that way I'm cutting out, you know, get a couple pieces at, um, at once. You know, I'm not doing it, just doing it one by one. So I'll just match it up, I'll like just line them up on there and like trace it out and then just cut it out. Now when you, okay, so this is the game changer right here. First, get you a, a rotary cutting board. This right here, game changer, I love it. And get you a rotary cutter. This makes it so much easier and so much faster to cut it out. See, it has a safety guard on there, just boom. There you go, the blade is, is right there, visible right now. And you just go ahead and just cut. You have to have one of these if you don't have a rotary cutting board you will damage your surfaces whatever you're cutting on this will cut right through it it's very sharp so please be safe with this if you have kids make sure you're always using the safety guard so it definitely makes it a breeze like this size I think it's the 45 millimeter size it works pretty good they have you know the sizes range are smaller ones and larger ones so it's you know it's all right with the cutting the corner so I'll just go ahead put it on there and then boom 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 cut it out and I cut out all my pieces, so I'm good to go. And boom, so after you cut it out, and you have your two, well, four pieces, your, um, this is the liner, and this is the main part, all right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and set the, once you have your pieces cut out, you're gonna move right ahead onto the sewing machine. So let's go ahead and reposition. All right, so we're at the part where you have your four pieces. So what you wanna do is, Turn them inside out. And so you're gonna turn both of them right side facing. And then you're going to pin. I use these clips to hold them in place. So this is how I pin them. I put one here. And then I put one here. And do it on for both. Okay, so much better. So the serger, what it does is it cuts 
the fabric as it sews it. So it will take that seam allowance right on up. Let me show you the seam allowance. So right here, I put the seam allowance on the pattern. So you're gonna be basically be cutting off that much fabric around it. Well, you know, you guys will see as I go ahead and start. So, but you don't have to use the blade at all times. The blade is retractable, so it will be times where you just wanna sew it without the blade. So you, that's an option as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Hopefully, hold on, let me focus this. Hopefully you guys can see, okay. See, the blade was, and make sure you check too, because the blade was, um, wasn't working out. Okay, now it is. And go ahead and start. Okay, you see, it cuts it as it goes. Oop, okay, you get the point. <laughs> All right, make sure you have your scissors handy. So I just did a simple curve right there, and then I'm gonna go ahead, and this is gonna be the fabric for the pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, finish the um, sides. So it could be a finish there. Take off that seam allowance as well. So now I'm gonna do the same for the other side. I'm gonna do that curve right here. So now, at this point, I'm gonna make sure you get you some straight pins. And I'm gonna go ahead and pin these together, right sides facing one another. Like so, and, line, and match up the seams. This is important here. Make sure the seams are, or the line is matched up. And you're gonna go ahead and pin it down well I pinned it pin it down the middle so I like to go ahead and start here make sure you know I'm have a good grip and I put a pin inside right in that middle I'm gonna go ahead and put three
Okay, so this is my mask, and now it's time. See the inside pocket, and now it's Kaya, and now it's time to sew the elastic on. So this is the elastic that I'm using. Okay. All right. So this is how I sew it on. This is the way that I found it to be easier for me, and you know, through trial and error, I'm comfortable with doing it this way as of right now. So. I do it on the right side first and I just go ahead and, because I'm using a serger, now you could do it with a sewing machine, of course, but since I'm using a serger, this is the way I found it to be easier to do it on a serger, I should have said before. So, I do it like this. Make sure the needle is up, put it in there. And then I use my trusty, Tweezers for support. Let me show you. Okay. All right, and I just press this down. Hold this here. Okay. Okay. Then I stop there. Take the other end. Bring it around. So, that. Then I do the same on the other side. I'm not, I'm not done yet. Okay, I'm not done. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So what I'm gonna do now is close the blade, no more blade. So sorry I had to switch over to my phone, guys, but this is the mask. That's what it looks like. And then you can just iron down the sides here. And there's the straps. Let me show you the inside. And then your pocket right here. So now is the fun part. So what I'm using are crystals here. How pretty. They're so pretty and shiny. So I'm gonna use these with the E6000 glue in clear. This is industrial strength of glue, guys, so it's these stones aren't going anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate my mat. Mm -hmm. 